Επιθυμώ και μετά τον θάνατό μου ακόμη να μείνει κάτι του εαυτού μου εις το μουσείο το οποίο με τόσον ενθουσιασμό και αγάπη εδημιούργησα. Δι' αυτό παραγγέλω να εντυχήσετε την καρδιά μου εις την είσοδον κάτωθεν της πλακός την οποίαν σεις οι ίδιοι ανερτήσατε. Every museum builds a narrative, tells a story, or several stories. It's essential to rethink where we place the importance of the narrative. When you usually think about Greece, you think about antiquity, classical antiquity. The great monuments of Athens, of Delphi, of Olympia. And this museum introduced the concept of continuity in concrete form. We were reading about this continuity in books, but we couldn't see it in art. So it was the first time that you could walk through the millennia of this land. This building was a family home. And although it's been refurbished and changed, it still feels like a rather grand family home. I don't come to work, I come back home to the museum. It's a very gentle and kind place. It's pleasant to be here. It's all in the detail. When you walk through a museum, you can revisit it hundreds of times, because there's so much to see if you focus on the detail. Devil is in the detail, God is in the detail. For example, when you look at the Hellenistic jewelry, jewelry from the third century BC, there are things that these jewelers 2,300 years ago could do that today no jeweler would take the trouble, the time, the effort to reproduce. These things cannot be redone. I find that extraordinary. But there is also the humble details, the small, charming ones. I always get amused by the detail of the stylite saint. Stylites were saints that lived on top of columns. They spend their whole life there. Someone would bring them food. They would be happy on top of a column. And when the time came for them to die, their disciples gathered under the column and waited for them to drop because then they could climb up and take their place and be stylites themselves. But only one could do it. It was a race to martyrdom. At the same time, amusing and saintly. Lovely little detail. The essence of a museum like the Benaki is cosmopolitanism. Cosmopolitanism is the art of living together in a world of strangers. This is a place where cultures live together, people live together. And in our time, we absolutely have to do this. It's imperative. If you come to Greece for the first time, but even if you are Greek, sort of discovering what it means to be Greek today, you have to come to the Benaki to find out. It's the missing link between all this great antiquity and the here and now. This is a museum that shows you a continuity of culture, language, art, a way of living and that makes it quite unique. It's about people, how people lived, what they surrounded themselves with, what they loved, how they celebrated. So it's about life. There is flesh and blood within the walls. For me, Benaki is a way of life. It's a way of thinking about yourself, thinking about the world 
inhabiting your world, your home, it teaches you how to live in this part of the world, in this corner of the world, but also globally. Benaki is a way of life. I like this idea.